Scoliosis usually can separate into functional scoliosis and the structural scoliosis. Usually functional, the, this is the test, the Adams test, forward bend test, that's how we find out whether it's structural or functional. If they bend forward, the back is flat, then it's more functional. So Carol is functional. When she, bend fo when she bends forward, she doesn't have this. She has scoliosis, her scoliosis is like this. But it's only the frontal plane. And when Carol, when Claudia um, bends forward, she's like this way and then her back is like this. So it's like this way. And you can see that very clearly. Even without bending, when she lays on the um, prone position, and you can see that. And that's a little bit more difficult, but it's still reversible. Uh, but this is much easier. After we identify that, we need to find out where the problem is. It can come from bottom up, or it can come from top down. From bottom up, it can come from either the leg length discrepancy from the tibia, if the tibia is like one size shorter, either due to trauma or someone was born like that, or it can be from the collapse of the arch on one side. If it's collapsed, then you can see it's a little bit shorter on one side. Or the alignment of the knee, if the knee is going this way, it's shorter. And the pelvis is gonna be like tilted a little bit. And we always follow our eyes. Our eyes wanna be even. So if this is going like this and we wanna compensate and the patient can go like this, or someone um, has the rotation of the pelvis, we know that if the pelvis is rotating forward, that will have the apparent uh, longer leg on, on that side. So if that's the case, then we can just correct the, um, the pelvis, the SI joint. If one uh, femur or tibia is longer, then we can just add another like uh, the, the um, support or the insert to elevate the shorter side. So that's the correction. And if it's um, due to the muscle imbalance between the left side and right side, also they can cause like some shortening on one side and spine start to bend and upper body start to compensate. From top down, if the C1, C2 is not even, C1 is actually function as a disc between the skull and the C2. And if it's tilted like this, which is not uncommon, then the head goes like this, and we want it to compensate the body goes this way. Make sense? So it is important that we find out where the problem is. It, it can be someone born like that and with the shortened muscle due to adaptive shortening, or it can be due to the shortening of the muscle cause the structure start to change. So we can find out which one is which. If we don't know, then that's correct what's easier first, which is the muscle. And then after that, we can work on the alignment. Yeah, if there is issue with the strength and the range of motion, we always work on range of motion, right? And then we can work on the weak muscle, strengthen the weak muscle, and stretch the tight muscle on the other side. So it's not as easy as like back pain. Use this, this, this point to treat the back pain. <laughs> it, it, it takes a little bit more research to find out. Uh, and that's the beauty of it, you know, that what, that's what makes it fun. Thank you.